Hey everybody, what's up? It's Chris and in today's video we are going to Hercules Candies and we're gonna watch how they make peanut butter ribbon candy. A vegan of course. You guys excited? Let's do this. I think Craig just pulled in the driveway. What's up dog? All right, we're in the laboratory. There's Steve and Terry. They call me No Egg Mom. No Egg Mom. No <laughs> Dairy Terry. Um, oh, so what, what did you just tell me before the camera was on? Oh, well, it was secret, so. Oh, it's secret? <laughs> well, I guess I can tell you. You won't tell anybody? I won't tell you anybody. You personally will not tell I anybody? Personally, you guys, I won't, I won't tell anybody. Right. Never. We made peanut brittle yesterday. We set aside a couple bags about this big of peanut brittle that we're going to cover in vegan chocolate next week. Vegan chocolate covered peanut brittle. I have never had that. It's a first. That probably won't sell though. I can't see anybody yeah. wanting that. No, no, nobody would want that. <laughs> no, I think Chris might buy it all. That's going to get really hot. This is hammer time. Wait. Okay. Go one more time. <sighs> and I hit it all three times. Winning. So when you spin it on the hook, it aerates it and it turns a different color yes. than the actual. Yeah. And they start out the same color. Grapey grape. So then that's starting out purple because that's what color the flavoring is. Some, some of the flavors are clear, so we have to add coloring. We're going to go over and we're going to see how they start from scratch because we missed that part. So over here we have the ingredients and we have Max. It's going to stir it together. All right, so the first step, we got to get some cold water in here. I don't understand the science of it, but for some reason cold water keeps uh, corn syrup from sticking to your hands. That's the best cold water ever. Yeah. <laughs> that artisanal cold water. water. And this is uh, one of those, the newest uh, scales oh, on yes. the market? Oh yeah, brand spanking new. Uh, only like 100 years old. So. Yeah. And he's not kidding, this, this company is 110 years old. So this is the corn syrup. Oh, that's nice little ball of water. Mm -hmm. Keeps it from sticking. It's a little warm in here though, so it's still, still a little bit sticky. It's like a jelly blob. Alright, so for everybody at home handling cornstarch, just remember to keep your hands moving. Keep it from sticking to you. And this is room temperature or was that in the refrigerator? Oh no, it's, it's pretty warm today. I don't know if you can tell how it's like running through my fingers like that. Most of the time it's actually, uh, it's pretty stiff. On stiff days, do you not need the water? Oh no, you always need the water, but uh, on the stiff days it won't, I don't know if you can see like little globs on my fingers. Yeah. It won't stick so much. You can get like a bigger blob at once too. We'll bump it up to uh, 14 that we really need. So we start with 7 pounds of corn syrup? 7 pounds of corn syrup, 14 pounds of sugar. It's always a uh, 1 to 2 ratio. 14 pounds of sugar. So sugar upon liquid sugar. Yep. <laughs> And then we're gonna add water. So it's liquid sugar and liquid sugar. I'm just glad to stop shipping it to us in 100 pound bags. Now we're just gonna grab two quarts of water. Uh, a little bit of cream of tartar. You can just put, uh, I think it's a tablespoon. Oh no, a teaspoon in there. Wow, that's, that's it? So, just a little bit? Yep. And then you just leave that like that or you mix it up or what? Just leave it right there to fill the next one and then it goes over there after that one's all done. There's all their potions. Ready for some action packed footage? Heck yeah man, this is how the peanut butter happens. Ooh. Oh look at that. Did you handle it? They use Jif and if you take Jif and you turn it upside down it still says Jif. Alright this has to get to 310 degrees Fahrenheit. Yep. Okay, so I guess we're gonna do blueberry. Blueberry. Ready? Okay, blueberry it is. Alright, here it comes. Oh yeah. Big job here. We got a new one too. So we're going four shots of this? Four shots. Oh, I can smell it. I was gonna say, can you smell it already? Yeah. This one smells so good. It's strong. Oh yeah. <laughs> blueberry, blueberry, blueberry. 
Stop your scaring me, Steve. <laughs> 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 Can't be this time. Same color. So if we pull it a little early, it won't get like nice and shiny. No. Okay. Uh, I well, messed up. The label just says blue, so. <laughs> I messed up. And the piece of candy. So. <laughs> Who would have thought it would make such a difference? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna, well, I wanna put the color in, but uh, now that I see how much it's leaking, I'm a chicken. What's, what's the problem here? I always get food coloring all over the table. Oh. <laughs> I really don't want to, so I'm like trying to wait for it to be stiff enough where uh, it's just a little easier to handle, you know? Cause like right now, it's just kind of liquidy. Oh yeah, that's one. The purple food color? Uh, just blue. Blue. Okay. The blueberry right now. Blueberry. It's blueberry. Surprised you didn't know that. Okay. Vegetable gum. Oh, I didn't use the spooky blue. All right. So now we're just gonna try and blend it into the, into the candy a little bit so that uh, the food coloring doesn't bleed so much. And then we'll start folding it in. Like yeah. It. <laughs> <laughs> totally didn't get any food coloring on anything either. Wow. Just don't look over here. <laughs> There's some on your paddle. No, it's not. <laughs> Bring to the hook. Uh, I was just gonna knead it a little bit to make sure. Yeah, I just want to make sure there's no food coloring on the outside of it. Otherwise, that'll get all over our canvas. I don't think these gloves work as well as the other ones. Yeah, you're not supposed to use these gloves. Those are the red gloves you're supposed to use. That's why I'm coloring. We're getting there. And you broke it in half because one of them's going to go on the hook and one of them's not. Right. One on the hook and one. Was. And then one will be kind of transparent. So you can see the peanut butter. Thicken it up. 
peanut butter and sugar. It's a very healthy combination. <laughs> More sugar. <laughs> More sugar. <laughs> what do you expect? You're a, it's a candy store. <laughs> the candy stick to itself better and it seals it up, seals up the seams. It's like candy glue. Super. You've been working at this candy company. Well, I started when I was about 12 years old. And how long has it been in your family? It's been in the family over 100, and about 110 now. Wow! And it's been right here in Syracuse, New York, the whole time. Yep, in East Syracuse the whole time. Awesome. That's it. That's a slightly yellow line there. I got my gloves on. I got my apron. We're gonna tr we're gonna give this a try. I'm gonna try to make that ribbon candy into that squiggle over there. Right. That's pretty good, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, I think I got maybe one out of five. It looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys guess which one's I twisted? <laughs> right there. You see that? <laughs> All right, so there you have it. We have peanut butter ribbon candy at Hercules Candies. Thanks to them for letting me come here and film it. You can check them out online. You can also check out Noe Craig. If you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, survive, watch out for zombies. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.